Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, Part 31. And we're going to buy a car for this segment it's because buying cars is cool, even though I have kind of have a limited budget here, but it's fine. So, since we're starting a new column, we're starting back at the slow cars here because that's how this game rolls. And we're going to get by this Mercedes A200 Turbo Coupe. Going to buy a small Mercedes. And, uh,. I like that red a lot. Okay. Um, yeah, we're getting that red. It, that looks very good. I don't even care if this is a... I mean, yes, this is Forza Motorsport 3. Okay, anyways, we're going to take this and we're going to go race. And I'm probably going to have to get back in my A-bar for this to show up. Yep, okay. Let's get back in the A-bar real quick. For the Super Mini Road Test. The first of the road test column. So, limited to some subcompact cars. And here we go. Ooh, first race is taking place on Wednesday and not Tuesday. Whoa, that's crazy. I don't know. So, let's just change car real quick. Get into the A200. And let's do this. First race is going to take place at Motegi West for four laps. Here's what everyone else is driving. Basically, these are all the F-Class subcompact cars. All eight of them. Hooray. I'm glad they left me a decent one to choose from, so that's cool. And stuff. Anyways, to Motegi we go for race number one. It's okay, test drive. I also want to kind of sell out. Or kind of want to sell out, just because I want to do this all the time, instead of going to my shitty hell that is my current job for 40 fucking hours a week. I could use that 40 hours doing something I actually care about. But, you know, that's never going to happen, so shut up, me. I'm sticking to that. Because it ain't going to happen. Anyways, it's time to race. So, fifth on the grid... Let's let's start the shit. Sell out bitch money whore. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we go from really fast cars to really slow cars. Hooray. And go. Nice fair bit of wheel spin from this car. A little bit surprised. Then again, I'm dumb. And unsurprisingly, I get a really good launch. I don't know what it is about these guys, but they suck at launching their cars. Oh my god, this thing is a fucking boat. Okay, we might have some issues. Uh, Look how tiny the driver looks in this car. He looks so fucking tiny. Oh, fuck. Damn, I should have taken the chance to get around uh, Rossi while I could. He's so fucking tiny. Look at him. He's all scrunched up, too. Leaning forward in the seat. God, he really is leaning forward in the seat. <laughs> okay, I don't need second gear. Is a thing I don't need. Can I catch Rossi in his fucking Renault? That is clearly the better car. Although I think this thing beats it in a straight line. In fact, yes, it diddly does. I still have a shot at this. Just gotta get used to the handling of this. God damn. That was some fucking shitty, uh, shitty steering by me. Catch the Franch, but he's Italian, test drive. What the heck are you talking about? Unless you're talking about Franch car, in which case, yes. It, it, I'm sorry, it took me a while to process. Oh, 
know why did I fucking adjust my steering. I'm having a lot of issues driving this thing, if you haven't noticed. Okay, see ya, bye. Please make the turn. Oh, hey, Rossi, how you doing? What's up, bro? Damn it. Oh, pff. Flat shift, don't mind me. I still can't get over how small my drive, like, the driver looks inside this thing. Looks like a fucking tiny baby, man. fucking fantastic. Okay, well, actually won first try. I'm a little bit surprised considering how, um, fucking just awful the handling on this thing is. It's, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad. But hey, we won, so that's cool. So there we go. Early point standings, because hey, we're doing season mode, which means we get points again. Hooray. Noise level one. Also, we're not gonna get much uh, money and XP for this, cause you know, F class and stuff. Yeah. Congratulations, you has wind. And now we move on to race two. Just two days later. Whoa. I don't know. Shut up, me. Maple Valley short verse. Okie dokie. Let's go to it. Never get enough Maple Valley, although this is reverse, so this hairpin, actually this entire track is going to be interesting with this vehicle. I'm expecting to struggle a lot, not going to lie. This is, uh, oh boy. Oh, well, we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it goes well, and I went on my first try. If it does, then you'll be hearing this, no, no. So, here we go. Here we go, Maple Valley short reverse. In car we go. Apparently our, this car already has 1900,000, er, 1900,000, wow, whoa, whoa. This car has a million miles on it, yes. No. 1900 miles on it. I'm still. I'm still interested about the odometer. Because other cars I saw with the odometer had like 1300 miles on it. I'm not sure if. Also, I got into the lead immediately. I'm not sure if, like, the odometer of this game starts at like a thousand or something for whatever reason. I, I really don't know. It just. This confuses me. Okay, Ross. I'm definitely holding up Rossi. This thing does not want to turn. I also thought the odometer worked. Like, it works. But. It doesn't start at zero for some reason. Yeah. The odometer probably works better in fours. Four. God damn. Rossi is all up on my ass. This thing may be better in a straight line compared to everyone else, but holy fuck, this thing can't turn. Also, I can't drive it. It's very odd handling characteristics. And it's really throwing me off. It's like really throwing me off. No, I opened up the bottom, son of a bitch. There goes Rossi. I have done screwed myself. This calls for drastic measures. Okay, drastic measures don't work. There we go. Let me just do a super retard dive. Don't mind me. Yes, yeah, it's not the first game ever to have a rewind, but this is the first game in this series to have a rewind. 
feature. When suddenly Williams is in second, where the fuck did he come from? Oh my god. I did not know that Forza 4 was your favorite game ever, Denny. Okay, final lap. I just need to hold him off for the final for one more lap, aka hold the bottom around the sweeper. If I don't hold the bottom, I lose. If I do hold the bottom, I win. Yeah, big fast scion laugh face. Laughter face. This this vehicle is quite the fucking enigma. I really don't understand this thing. Oh god, okay, we're good. We're good, everything's fine. Maybe this thing would be a little easier to drive with the wheel, I don't know. But hey, held him off for the victory. So that's cool. There we go. Here's the points. Williams and Rossi are now top. Williams finished third in race one? Okay. Well then. Works for me. Rip Evans. <laughs> but Evans isn't even in this. Okay. Well, there we go. Hey, we reached level 16. You know what that means? A new car. Ooh. Hey, look, guys. I got an Aston Martin. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Jokes. About myself. Because I'm a dummy. So. Here's our uh, Aston Martin XKR. <laughs> Fuck me. Anyways. Nice car. And it's mine. All oh, mine. And now it's time for the uh, last race of the Super Mini Road Test. Ooh, Catalonia uh, school circuit. I was about to be like, ooh, Catalonia. I can actually, like, go fast. Nope, it's the school circuit. Actually, test drive. Yeah, this I think this game caps at 50. Level cap. Um, an interesting thing about Forza 4, though, test drive, it actually does have a level cap. It's just that the cap is 999. The original level cap in Forza 4, like when it first released, was 150. Because Turn 10 was like, oh yeah, it will take even the heart most hardcore Forza 4 players over a year to reach the level cap. Guess what, it took a couple months. So, uh, in response to this, they uh, upped the cap from 150 to 999. <laughs> True story. This race is so very fucking hard. Holy crap, this race is hard. Uh, I must reiterate. Damn it, game, why did you not give any of the AI drivers this fucking abomination to drive and actually gave me a chance with a better car? Or let me have a chance with a better car, but no, I have to drive the fucking boat. So, <clears throat> okay, swing out wide, swing it in, and go out wide. Nope, too wide. Fuck, fuck, bad, bad, bad. Oh, can I get on the inside of Rossi? Yes. We in there? Fuck you. Blocking you. I don't, or knocking you out of the way. Go. We're finally in P1 after all this time. I just have to hold it for two laps, which... It's easier to hold the position than to gain the position. Yep, that is Rossi in the flesh. Well, I don't know about the flesh, but, you know. Okay, now I just gotta keep this barrage of cars behind me.
Yeah, I totally used, should have used the Chevy Aveo with its PI of 102. It is the Aveo, isn't it? Yeah, it is, okay. Just wanted to make sure I was right on that, uh, fucking joke. Okay, final lap. Actually pulled out a one second lead some of the fuck out. Yeah, this is the grandma car challenge. Actually, this isn't even grandma car, this is just fucking the mini soccer mom car. Oh, no you don't, Rossi. You stay behind me, motherfucker. You stay right the heck behind me. Uh -huh. Okay, just around the sweeper one more time. And we'll have finally won this race. After way too many tries. Okay, tiny man and big tiny car win, finally. So, note that my PI is 194. I, uh, in order to win this, I, I went to the upgrade shop and, uh, I, I fully upgraded tire width. So, yeah, I have the widest tires on this thing, and that's what helped me actually fucking win. That and my being a complete asshole to everybody else on the road, but, you know. things. So there we go, finally, the super mini road test is complete. <laughs> Extreme racing in tiny cars. So there we go. That's done. So now we get to do the next round in the A-Class World Championship. Time for the next Yay! Good luck. So we shall do that in the next segment. So, column three has started. We shall uh, go through that and all that shit. And, but first, round two of the Class A World Championship in the next segment. Blah, blah, blah. Stay tuned for more Forza 3.